Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of the How to Aggressive Recon series. So in episode 1, guys, I pretty much highlighted the mentality that you should have going to the Aggressive Recon kind of thing. And uh, the loadout that you should be running, um, gadgets, weapons, sidearms, all that. Um, so if you guys have not seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description to that video. So you guys can uh, pretty much catch up, I guess. So in this video, guys, I'm going to be talking about the range of effectiveness and why it is important to know your range of effectiveness and why you should try to improve it. And uh, utilize and how to utilize it as much as possible. Now, if you guys don't know what uh, range effectiveness is, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty much at what range are you most effective um, and least effective. Like in my in my opinion, uh, my range effectiveness is one to two hundred and fifty meters because that's where I hit most of my shots. And you can really find your range of effectiveness by, you know, getting a friend or a couple friends or, I don't know, some random stranger, don't talk to strangers, kids. But, um, get somebody, have them stand like a good distance away, shoot them in the head, blah, blah, blah. And keep going until you, you know, you try to try to do it relatively quickly, like, if you are on the battlefield and, um, he wasn't a friend and he wasn't letting you do this. Just try to, just try to get that fast shot or whatever. And um, if you guys can do that, you know, and then you just you just pretty much gauge where where you start missing and that kind of thing, and that's pretty much how you find that range. Now, I know personally that my range is pretty you know pretty bad since I cannot long range snipe. I mean, I'm like I'm like a blind guy trying to play ping pong. It's it's just awful. I mean, I can't I can't hit anything. It's just all bad. No offense to any blind people, but once you find your range of effectiveness, um, the best way to utilize this is by you know, playing those game modes that, you know, support that range of effectiveness. Like, let's say your range of effectiveness is 600, 700 meters, something, you know, unrealistic. I've never heard of that from anyone that I know of, at least. And I know, I know a, a, quite a bit of snipers. And, um, let's say that's your range. I wouldn't suggest you play TDM or something like that, because, you know, it's, it wouldn't work out that way, since no one's going to actually be at that range. I'd, you know, play Conquest, Obliteration, something like that something more that you can, you know, chill the back of the map and snipe, which I do not, I do not suggest you do, I mean, that's, that's the one thing I hate, that, and when snipers run something other than the sniper rifle, but that's just me, this is off topic, I'm sorry, but anyway, moving on, um, since you, when you find your range of effectiveness, um, start playing game modes that, you know, relate to that, and try to improve it, a way to improve it, again, is, you know, get, get a couple friends, um, pretty much just have a sniper battle or something, or you can try sniper only servers, and pretty much just, you know, try to improve your skills. As I said, I'm trying to improve my skill too with the whole long range sniping thing since I am a horrible long range sniper and I would like to be much better because I feel if I was able to, you know, long range snipe and close range snipe, then I would be like a well rounded sniper and yeah, it's pretty much just my goal is to work on long range sniping. Um, and you guys may be wondering, like, okay, kid, what if I'm using the FYJS as Scout Leap? Because I know that um, it's, it's proven that those things don't really one-shot, um, they, you don't really get one-shot headshots up to a certain distance, which is kind of crappy, but if you guys are using those guns, we do prefer those guns. As I said, I used to use FYJS back in my day. That was my favorite sniper rifle, but if you guys do use those guns, you have to play extra aggressive, and I definitely would not suggest you you play those game modes that include, you know, longer ranges, because you won't be able to get one-shot headshots. Um, when I was using the FYJS, I'd actually have to take three or four shots just to take out one enemy, and it was it was really bad. Same thing with Scout Elite, guys. And uh, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave them in the comment section. Um, leave a like if you think I did good. Um, also, thank you guys on the last video because you guys completely blew that 15 likes out of the water. So if you guys can do that again, that'd be amazing. So peace out, guys.